Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. My name's Mark Love, and uh, boy, have we got a great day today in Colorado. Uh, it's funny, last week we were below zero for the whole week. Today we're 60 degrees in short sleeves. Uh, just beautiful Colorado weather. If you've ever wanted to come out and visit us, don't hesitate. Today, uh, it's really a, a pleasure for me to present to you one of our true luxury diesel motor homes. Uh, today we're going to talk about the 2021 London Air. This is a 4551 floor plan. The stock number on this is 5N201184. And when I talk about it being a true luxury high-end motorhome, what I mean by that, Numar makes three models with the 605 uh, Cummins on the Spartan K3 chassis. The London Air, the Essex, and of course the King Air being the top dog. So those three have some unique features that I want to point out today. And if you're really looking for a high-end luxury coach with all of the horsepower, but you don't want to go all the way to the King Air, you get so many things in this London Air with the same power, uh, same floor plans. It's really a great value in a pure luxury coach. Let's start over on this side. Uh, like all of your diesel pushers, they have a, uh, a front generator, but when you get to the luxury end, they're on a power slide out tray. So you can see here we've got our 12.5 kilowatt Onan quiet diesel generator and very easy to access right here. You also have, you know, uh, your windshield washer fluid. Uh, you can hook up to your water system if you want to wash your coach. You do have a place to tie into your air system. Maybe you're towing a Jeep out to Moab. You let the air out of the tires a little to go do a poison spider. You come back, you want to air them up and drive it into town. All of that is right here, very convenient. And get a shot up here. You've got the two big trucker horns. So when you want to let them know you're here, you have all the power. And then of course, very easy to open and close this. Another thing I'll point out right here, you have a lot of your chassis fuses and uh, everything is labeled. If one of them should go out, an indicator light comes on and they give you the spare fuses right here. They do that both for the house and for the chassis circuits. Oh, I forgot. You get the handy um, windshield washer, that's extendable, and when you have something this tall, it's really convenient when you pull up to a fueling station. As we come down here, the first compartment's got our eight AGM six volt batteries. Now that tells me this is an all electric coach with a residential refrigerator and an induction cook surface. Uh, this does have a slide out tray there and also the London Airs are equipped with a 3000 watt inverter. On the first two or the next two compartments we have power slide out trays that can be uh, powered from either side. Now people ask me what's the big difference between say a King Air and, and a London Air or an Essex? This is one of them. These uh, uh, electric slide out trays are an option in the London Air. Where in the King Air, you're going to get the standard. So, you know, you can either pay for, pay for them at a higher base price or you can opt them in into the London Air. That's what I mean about this being such a great value on a luxury coach. Whenever you open one of the doors, the LED lights come on inside also. Here we have our 50,000 BTU Oasis Hydronic Heating System. This provides your furnace heat, uh, your engine preheat, and basically uh, on-demand hot water with this. Here we've got our power cord reel. That's very handy in the winter when these things get very rigid. They're kind of hard to, to roll up if you have to do it manually. And also on the side, we have a place to hook in our, uh, our cable. 
The box in the back there you can see is the transfer switch and that has a built-in surge protector. But also note at the bottom, we have a 30 amp power input there. A lot of people pulling, the, uh, pulling a trailer might have a stacker trailer or something with a powered trailer that runs off 30 amp. So you can plug it in right here from your unit. This is our water compartment and uh, very well thought out, very clean look. You have the power uh, water hose reel also. Uh, dump valves, you can dump this manually like a, a traditional RV, but it also has the SantaCon system. The beautiful thing about the SantaCon system, number one, you can turn it on right here, put it into your drain, uh, kind of like a uh, garbage disposal in that black tank to chew it up. But you can also pump it uphill. You can completely drain your tank, even if you're not on flat ground. You don't have to have you know, an angle running down to dump it. Also, we have a, a whole house water filter here. Uh, like I say, an outside shower. You've even, I guess you can see these a little bit, have a monitor system for your fresh black and gray tanks. And you can uh, either uh, fill it you know, manually, you can uh, pump it in there. It's a power fill, just a very convenient uh, water closet there. Low point drains and everything are easily accessible. One of the things about this chassis, we're on a Spartan K3 chassis. Uh, the Spartan chassis for so long was regarded as maybe the most robust, the strongest chassis out there. For several years, I think most uh, fire trucks were built on a Spartan chassis. You sh uh, certainly wouldn't want to have a breakdown when you're on your way to an emergency. And the Spartan K3, I don't know if you can see it real clear, but you look in there and they are huck bolted together. You have double C channels in there. This is a raised rail chassis. It gives you taller storage compartments, uh, a little bit more of a stable ride, and it is an independent front suspension chassis. Of course, uh, all of these 45 footers have the tag axle, and one of the nice things about the 2021 uh, tag axle London Air is that axle now cants 16 degrees. So you couple that with the comfort drive that I'll talk about a little bit inside, it's amazing how tight of a turning radius you can turn with something like this. It'll actually turn tighter than your average uh, one-ton Dodge Dooley pickup truck. Side radiator, much better cooling on the side radiator, number one. It's a little larger radiator, but also it makes access to the engine easier also. As we step around the back, a uh, couple of things I'll point out. Great looking rear cap on this. I love the, uh, the fiberglass cap. You can see your camera system here. And this camera actually has three positions. So if you're hooking up to a trailer, you can point it almost straight down and see if you're backing in to, to get it right dead center if you're doing it by yourself. We can pop the uh, hatch here and there is our uh, 605 horse Cummins. This is, uh, has 1,950 foot-pounds of torque, and that's developed at 1,200 RPMs. I've talked about this a little bit before. People back east, when I go home, they say, why does everybody have diesels out there? You know, why do they think they need it? Well, when you start getting up at nine or 10,000 feet and climbing Eisenhower Pass and Bale Pass, and those gas trucks pulling the trailer are slowing down and overheating, you realize why you want a diesel. They develop their max torque at lower RPMs, so you're not overheating them. You don't have to run that gas engine up to, you know, four or 5,000 RPMs and drop it down a couple of gears to get up that hill. So, like I say, 605 horse, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque, easy access to, uh, this is your Oasis fluid for your hydronic heating. You can see uh, your transmission fluid fill. You have your engine oil uh, dipstick, engine oil fill, uh, air filter, all easy to access. Also, this is a nice feature. It's another quick connect for your air system. 
the 605 horse is about as big as you're going to get on any diesel pusher. Another thing that the Spartan does that's just a great feature, they put an integrated Curt brake system in here. This is designed, already hooked into your air system, that with the Air Force One attachment on your tow vehicle, you're ready to go. Probably the safest towing system out there. Uh, 20,000 pound rating on this. The chassis itself is a 54,000 pound GBW chassis. Um, I think it's 47,000 pounds empty, so you have roughly 7,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, 20,000 pound towing, so your gross combined weight is 74,000 pounds. Uh, you also have hook in for a Voyager camera. If you are pulling a stacker trailer, you might have another camera on the back of that trailer. You hook it up right here. You can switch back and forth from your camera monitors inside, and I'll show you that when we get in there. Okay, great looking uh, awning package. I don't know if you got a shot of these over here, Jody, but I didn't talk about the window awnings. This is the Gerard Nova complete awning package. So you have electric window awnings all the way around. It has the two uh, awnings on the front, full awnings. And you know, if you want, you can leave those awnings in and use your window awnings on the other side also. I just put them out here to demonstrate them. As we move around to the passenger side, this is our battery compartment. You see the two big uh, 150 amp bus fuses here, your air dryer, uh, water separator, all easy to access right here. These are your two starting batteries. And this is where we fill the def. I didn't point it out, but there is a def fill on the other side. You have fuel fills on both sides, so it doesn't matter what side of the pump you pull up on, it's easy to fill. Another unique feature to the Spartan, if you look right in here, you have a, a emergency suspension fill. You can tie in here and raise and lower those airbags, you know, manually. You've already got an air pump, so if you should have, you know, a, an issue where you can't air up, you could do it manually right there. Uh, I think the Spartan is the only chassis that has that. Another thing that I'll point out while we're here, this happens to be a, an egress door in your bathroom behind the toilet. But Numar likes to point out it's true flush slides. All of the slide outs fit this way too. They actually recess in the side wall of the uh, coach. The nice thing about that is when you're driving and sitting up front, they find you get more noise from air uh, whistling in around the slide outs around the door. You don't have that. You don't have that wind-driven rain coming in around your seal and leaking inside. It's just a tighter system. Again, you can see it here. This fascia tucks in all the way. This is part of your auto lockout system. When it comes in up on the top, it locks that slide in good and tight. Moving down here, we have our pegboard compartment and it's got a nice rack. Now you've got a, a water heater or a component behind here, but you've got a nice place to put tools or maybe carry your oil or spare depth fluid. Uh, you know, they, they really think this through. Okay, this is, again, our side compartment with the slide out tray. And one of the things, or a couple of things I like to point out here, First of all, you do have your, uh, your central vacuum here. On this side, you can see some of your components. These actually are your, your slide out control boxes. Uh, you get a lot of support, not only from Spartan, from Numar, you know, as far as service, but also we have a technical uh, expert here that works with the sales department, Bill Habercorn's his name. A lot of times, if you can't get your slides in and out, you can come, shut them off, unplug that, just like a computer. Let it reset for about 10 seconds, plug it back in. 
nine times out of ten that takes care of the issue. But they make it very easy to access these components. You also have another uh, uh, GFI uh, 110 outlet in this compartment. You can kind of see your chassis rails there. Let's move to the next compartment here. And this one, by the way, is just a manual slide. It's only like a, a half or two-thirds of a slide. It doesn't go all the way through. You have your aqua hot on the other side there. We come over here, and again, these are our electric slide outs. And you know, this is a really nice feature. And another optional feature is this shelf up above. And it just gives you room for extra storage. If you notice, it's the same level as the bottom of the frame rails. So if you're putting Tupperware or something in here, you can't have it taller than the frame rails. But they put this shelf in so you can still utilize this space. And while we're here, let's talk about uh, the star foundation here. You can see some of the rails that gusset down uh, up here where your main chassis rails are. You notice your floor joists aren't sitting on them. Newmar builds this superstructure, ties it into the main uh, uh, chassis rails, and what it does is it makes for a, a more stable platform that can support more weight, and you don't get the twisting and the torquing as you're traveling down the road, so you're not going to be popping your grout or cracking tiles or things like that. Another thing I'd like to point out is you actually have an R value on this floor. It's like an R4. and then. The subfloor and the flooring itself is an R16. Uh, two things that does. Number one, keeps it warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, but it helps eliminate the road noise. This is a very quiet ride. So a lot of them will just have rotocast here. This actually has a galvanized steel plate. Actually, that's up in the, uh, the flooring. And with their layers, it's just a thicker floor, a quieter floor, makes for a smoother ride. Again, we have one more compartment with your electric tray. And again, the extra storage uh, tray up here is really nice. This one is equipped with 40 inch Samsung TV, has the Bose sound bar. Great for uh, tailgating or hanging out at the campsite watching your game and then up here in the front compartment nice feature this is our pull out freezer and look how far this comes out well past the slide so you can open this up all the way I've seen other units that don't quite open up all the way so you got to prop this up Again, I pointed out you have fuel fills on both sides. And one of the things that's really important as a safety feature is right here, there is a steel plate that protects that fuel line. So if you're to shred this tire, uh, you're not going to tear up your fuel line, which could be a dangerous situation. Now, one of the things, maybe get a shot of the coach as it's sitting right here. This is called ride height when it airs up and you're driving down the road one of the unique things about this London air is not only do you have your your uh, hydraulic leveling system you also have an air leveling system and I'm going to demonstrate that a little bit as we go inside you also notice this is a three-step hydraulic entrance so you know it makes it easier to get in and out really nice steps you do have keyless entry with a doorbell and a heavy duty lighted handle. Why don't you go ahead and step in first? Okay. Let me shut that off and a couple of things I'll point out. First of all, I want to drop this shade so we don't have quite so much glare up front. Okay. 
okay. Let's get this on. There's our dash firing up. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. Okay, great seats. I love the Villa furniture, extremely comfortable. Uh, one of the nice features, we do have our pedals that, as you can see, are adjustable. So for somebody a little taller, you might want them back farther. Myself, I like them, you know, pretty much most of the way out. And I want you to get a look at this, this glass dash. And I'm going to go through some of the uh, some of the systems. Now, right now, you can see low air pressure, and we're airing up. But what I want to show you on the air leveling, we're in travel mode right now. Now I can push that, and I can hit auto level. I could, I could set it at high height for riding, maybe low ride. Uh, you're coming up to pick up grandma outside. You want to drop this down to the low ride, let those three steps come out so she only has a couple of inches to step up into the coach. But uh, as I scroll down here, this is really kind of a neat feature. I'm going to go to more. And now we're looking at our level system. And you can see these virtual levels, they're a little bit out. I'm going to scroll down here to auto level. And this is our air leveling system. So as I hit that, you're going to start to see the leveling is active. And these values are changing. Some of them need to go up, some need to go down. We tend to be kind of low in the back. So it's going to raise the rear up. It's going to adjust us left to right. And as we go through here, you can see these levels will, will become more centered. While we're pointing that out or waiting on that, let me point out a couple of things on the monitor system. We have a great camera system here. There's your typical rear view look at it. But number one, this has the, the bird's eye 360. So you can kind of see your whole coach now. And you see the, uh, the awnings are out and the slides. It's kind of a distorted view there. But when you're driving down the road and everything's in, you, you see a great shot of what's around you. But uh, let's say, you know, I just want to look left and right. Or maybe, you know, I'm going to watch my camera. And of course, here we can have a second camera or a second uh, yeah, camera for our trailer here. Uh, another thing I pointed out on your rear monitor, as I'm driving down the road, I might want to see traffic behind me. Maybe I'm pulling a, a trailer with some ATVs and I want to keep an eye on them, make sure they're not bouncing. Or maybe I'm backing up to my trailer to hook it up. I can point it straight down. You can kind of see the exhaust right there. So great camera system here. Of course, you also have your navigation. You know, go to your map, choose your destination, and so forth. Let's look back over here at our self-leveling now. And you notice it's still leveling. This will take two to three minutes, but those, uh, those virtual levels are getting a little bit more even. Now, what's going to happen? We're going to limit out on the back. It's, you know, 3.3 to 3.5 inches is all that's going to raise. And then it's going to drop the front a little bit more and adjust us left and right. And it'll let us know when it's finished. So all of that is controlled right here. Uh, I can say I can, well, I'm just going to let this go through first. Uh, wipers, our cruise control over here, everything is pretty much as you'd expect. You have a couple of charging ports for your cell phones. Uh, one here, the passenger has one, you have a couple by the bed. Um, one thing about the Spartan chassis, it still has the Allison, this is the, uh, the 4000 transmission I believe. Your controls are right here. You do have a three speed engine brake, you can turn that on and select low, medium and high. This is actually a transmission retarder is what it is. Then over here, you can manually dump your axles, uh, your tag axle. If I have it in auto, when I go to back up, it's going to uh, dump that tag axle on its own. So 
Okay, we are leveled now. You can see the system is shut off. And uh, if I want to go back to travel mode, I can just hit that. But what I wanted to demonstrate right now is the comfort drive. Uh, Numar is the only company using this right now, which still baffles me. It's a computer-assisted steering uh, setup, sensing the torque in the roads, maybe crosswinds, uh, crowns in the roads, and it brings this right back to center every time. I can turn this very easily with one finger and sitting dead still with all the weight on those tires, it brings me back every time there. Just a great system. Okay, I think I can go ahead and shut it off now. We seem to be level. Uh, one thing I will point out here, this is your Kurt, uh, brake controller. When it's running and you're hooked up, this is adjustable, so you can adjust your brakes just like any other brake controller. Okay, point out just a couple of things up here. We do have a new uh, silver leaf interface here, and uh, excuse me, you can see that right here. Uh, if you want to check your batteries, we're at 14.4 volts. Uh, on the AC power. I had to have my inverter on to open up my uh, awnings because those are 12 volt. Go home, gives you your monitors on your tanks. Climate, you do have uh, uh, floor heat. And with this floor heat, let's say I turn the front on and I can adjust that from one to 10. And that is an electric element right below the tile in the thin set. You have three zones. Actually, what this is is a timer that it'll, it'll stay on for a certain amount of time and then shut off. But it heats up very quickly here. Uh, you know, if you want to turn your pump on, you can do that all right here, auto fill, auto fill block heater if it's cold days and I want to heat up the engine off my aqua hot. Everything is right here. Of course, uh, these are our uh, window awnings, uh, switches here, entry door awning. We have our slide out controls. The exterior step I've actually turned off. You might have just heard that come in. Uh, what that'll do every time you open and close the door, it goes in and out. So if you don't want it to do that, you just shut it off. This has a built-in Wi-Fi router, turns on your satellite system here. Everything's real convenient right here at your fingertips. Let's uh, move to the back just a little bit. One thing that, uh, that I'd like to point out first of all, I, I gotta you know, give great thanks to Jody and Avon. They're really the producers, the directors, the cameramen. They get out here and set things up. And when I come in this morning, they said, you know, point out this chair. This is the most comfortable chair uh, of all of them. And it is a, a villa. And this is called the theater seating. Very comfortable. Right here, I'm going to show you a few features. This one has electric shades so I'm gonna go ahead and close my day shades here and as you can see all the way around my shades are closing maybe I want to watch TV I'll just hit my televator and it pops up right there Again, I can turn my water pump on and off from right here. While that's going up, uh, let me get back to my lighting. I, uh, I can dim these ceiling lights a little bit, you know, uh, adjust them individually for our wall lights, our accent lights. Just great mood lighting here throughout. Again, Villa Furniture, and this has the, the theater seating. Nice little storage box here. Maybe you're keeping your remote controls or your crossword puzzles, your games. You got a little sliding tray here and some storage underneath. 
Across from me, we do have a hide-a-bed. This pulls out to a full hide-a-bed, so if you do have guests, you have room for them. Most people at this level don't encourage a lot of overnight guests, but you have room for them. Uh, beautiful cabinet, as always with uh, Numar. Uh, mitered cabinet doors, all solid wood. There's no wrap styles. This is your video uh, uh, compartment here, and if you notice, these are all soft clothes. We do have the Bose 700 uh, sound bar uh, on the inside, and this has got the, uh, uh, the subwoofer with it also. But I like the way they have a little offset in these cabinets. It's not just a straight shot across. And uh, let me see, the color of this is wicker glazed, uh, yeah, it's the wicker glazed maple. Uh, cabinetry and uh, the Paxton decor is what we're in here. So moving on to the kitchen, we have a little counter extension here and these do have drawers and again these are all soft clothes. This has a dishwasher And again, if you're uh, camping where you're not on a grid somewhere, you can turn on your inverter and uh, run everything uh, off your batteries. Nice silverware, built-in silverware drawer and all of the remotes you're ever going to need. You get one for every TV, but one remote will run all of the TVs. Again, most of these are, are all electric so you do get a true induction cook surface here nice thing about this it can be removed unplugged and taken outside and used you know on one of your slide out trays maybe you have a little stand there and you can plug it in underneath of course you don't see ovens anymore but these all have convection microwaves more nice storage here and this is convenient especially for you ladies it might be a little bit shorter you can't maybe reach the back of it so having those pull out trays very nice and even that is soft close this has got a double sink and some refer to this as a 60 40 I think it's a little bigger on this side than 60 percent but you know when you're washing anything by hand it's convenient prepping meals or vegetables something like that residential style fixtures beautiful backsplash here too let me uh let me see let me get my kitchen lights on i can do it right here we've got these uh silver leaf panels throughout couple more things and this gets a little tray for you know scrubbies or washing dishes and stuff underneath you do have a place for trash and again really nice pull out like I say everything throughout is a soft close feature and let me show you a little bit of their attention to detail look at how small this drawer is but if you notice the joint here they still have the dovetail joint you know just a little compartment you'll find something for it and again all soft clothes throughout even up here turning over here we have our uh, desk dinette now this does extend you have a couple of folding chairs back uh, underneath the bed that all have matching fabric here but one of the nice things if you work on the road you've got a little computer tray here and a place to hook up if you're using a PC you've got room underneath or maybe you're storing a printer under there so you know you can uh, set up everything to work on the road and there is storage underneath there uh, 
you know, this, I guess it's getting redundant or we don't think about it much anymore, but there is what they call more floor tile. And if you look here, the tile runs into the slide out. You don't have carpet anywhere throughout this coach, which is just a great feature. Part of having this more floor tile and running the tile all the way back in the bathroom is having a stronger chassis, having that star foundation to support this weight, to support a 19.7 cubic foot residential refrigerator, uh, all of the solid surface countertops and the, the glass and stone backsplashes. So, you know, that's one of the things Numar does to build a better coach. Um, Numar, they have a slogan. It's when you know the difference. And nearly eight years ago when I started, okay, everybody has a slogan. But after visiting the plant, uh, meeting several of the reps, going to a lot of the shows, you realize that there is a difference on how they're built. There is a difference with their workforce. When you know the difference, you do buy a Numar. There's a reason they are probably the top manufacturer of diesel pushers. Here is your French door refrigerator. You've got great storage down here in the freezer. And then in this model, the 4551, you get a double wide pantry. Whoops, I forgot about that. You kind of got to push in to release these. And it's a little safety, so these don't come out when you're on the road. And again, if you see the sides, dovetails throughout, just beautiful cabinetry. They don't cut corners anywhere. Opening this door automatically turns on some LED strip lights. Across from uh, the refrigerator, we have our half bathroom. And one of the changes they made is kind of nice is these flush handles. When you had a handle sticking out and you squeeze by, especially with the slides in, you might hook your pants or gouge yourself a little bit. So I do like that feature. And they also have a patent on this hinge. You notice how it pivots in the middle. With this slide in, a regular door, you might not be able to open it up all the way. So somebody that's a little bit larger would have a hard time getting in here. When we do step inside, a couple of the features I really like, uh, check out your, your mirror lights. Just great accent lighting throughout. And also, up here, they make it very easy. If something's not on, if you suspect there's a, a fuse or a circuit, they're right here. Uh, your main uh, breakers, here's all your power breakers for your ACs and dishwasher and so forth. Everything is labeled, easy to access. You get the spare fuses in here also. And between the, uh, the support of Numar, uh, they actually have an app called Noogle. It is like a Google search for every system in this coach. So it's very easy to get schematics and information you want. You have access to Bill Habercorn through us, which is just invaluable. Uh, a lot of resources to help you while you're out on the road. And another thing, maybe poke it in there. Look at the size of the counter in this, what you'd consider a half bathroom, and there's plenty of room around the toilet. It's very nicely done. You have your, your vacuum down there, so the there on the floor, you can kind of sweep things up there and lift that lid and it sucks it in on its own. Otherwise, you can plug in your, uh, your hoses right there. So we move back. You know, one thing about these doors, they are raised panel doors, but they are nice, solid wood doors. They latch very well, so it's not gonna slide open when you're traveling. Here under the bed, there's your two folding chairs. And uh, normally back in there, they put the flux capacitor. They must not have opted this one in. No need to time travel in this coach today. Another feature I didn't point out on the outside that, you know, you don't see it, but this has 400 watt solar panels on the roof. You don't see that a lot. So with those 8 AGM batteries, the 3000 watt inverter, if you're gonna camp where you're not plugged in at an RV park, you have power for a long time. Plus that 12,500 watt generator with the auto gen start as your batteries maybe hit 12.1 volts, 
it'll fire up automatically, charge the batteries for you. Both sides of the bed, you do get some 110 plugs and you get some USB ports. So if you're uh, sleeping with a sleep machine, uh, you can put it on either side. And this is a, a full king bed. And again, nice large cabinet throughout. You have a plug up there. You have some of your light switches and another one of your multiplex panels right there. So maybe I forgot to turn off the, the kitchen lights. I can hit the button right there and shut it all off while I'm laying in the bed. Across from the bed here, we have our dresser and TV. Got a nice, uh, what is that, a 40 inch Samsung TV. Some very deep drawers here. Again, all soft clothes. Up in here, you do have your uh, DVD players. This is where you put your uh, satellite box. If you're going to have one back here in the TV, all of your inputs are there. This switch over here, actually, some people look a long time, but when I want to roll up my window awning, it's right there. And there we go. You get a second silver leaf panel back here. This is the same as you have up over the driver's seat, so you can control all of your systems right here. And again, a little more storage, and this is deeper than it looks, the way it's angled. You can get a lot of things in there. Another thing I didn't point out, but the decorator ceiling on these Numars, this is more than just decoration. They're actually covering your air conditioning ducts. You notice you don't see those little round circles for AC. And the Numar air conditioning is true ducted air conditioning like you're going to have in a house. A lot of them, they might just run the flex tube or it might just be channeled out of styrofoam. And you know, as your, your air conditioner, your air is flowing through there, you lose efficiency. Having true duct work makes it more efficient. It blows down in the middle, so if you're traveling in Texas in July and it's just miserably hot uh, and your slides are in, it's blowing right down where you want that air. Again, when you know the difference, uh, Numars might cost a little more than some of our competitors, but in the long run, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. You'll never be disappointed with the Numar. Let's step back into the bathroom. Now, this is the largest shower of any unit. It's 50 inches by 34 inches. And it's got the nice teak seat here. Teak is what they use on all the sailboats. It won't rot in the water. We have our water miser system. What the water miser does is it recirculates your fresh water while you're waiting for it to heat up. So you're, you're getting in here to take a shower, you turn it on, you don't want that water going down into the gray tank. It's going back into the freshwater tank and it's not even coming out of the shower head. When that light comes on, you turn the valve, the water comes out, hot water, uh, you haven't filled up your gray tank, you haven't wasted any fresh water. Throughout the coach, we have three of these fantastic fans. They're power vent fan and uh, thermostatically controlled. So maybe you're going out for the day and you have pets in here. You want to have these open it up when it hits 72 degrees to draw a breeze through for your animals. You've got three of them throughout. You also can do your automatic gen start on a temperature control. So it would start up and kick on those air conditioners automatically. Nice little feature. Back here, one of the other unique items to Numar is this egress door. So if there's an emergency and you have to bail out, I'd much rather go out here than climb head first out of the emergency window. If I pull this panel, there's a ladder that drops down right there. So it makes it easy to, to get out and you can only get out. There's no handle on the outside so nobody can, uh, can get in through there. Again, we've got 
a nice closet. And one of the things I want to point out to you ladies, they're always wondering, where's my wardrobe space? Well, this one has an awful lot of wardrobe space. And of course, over on this other side, you can see you've got a safe. You have shelves here. If you wanted, you could take a couple of the top shelves out, have more wardrobe space, more wardrobe space. And you see this nice shoe rack. I think there's 12 compartments. That's one for him and 11 for her. Another thing I like to point out, you see the cedar lining in here throughout. Well, this is how far Numar goes. Let me show you this little medicine cabinet and get to the shot of the back here. You have a 110 plug, and it is cedar lined, even that small panel there. Again, with your uh, your mirror light, you know, I can, well, I guess this one's just on and off. I can turn my ceiling lights off and maybe just have my uh, accent lights and my mirror on, get a little ambiance back here. Dual sinks in the 45 footers, that's a nice feature. And plenty of storage drawers throughout. Some nice storage underneath here. And again, you notice those LED lights pop on automatically whenever you open one of the drawers. Uh, you saw the one plug in your medicine cabinet. You have another plug here. And then this access to your plumbing for your washer dryer. Heaven forbid you ever have a leak or something happen there, you can shut the water off right there. Let me get a little bit more light on here. One of the things Numar did, and uh, actually with their kind of their facelift in 2016, when they went to the Moore floor, they changed the caps. They put in this cathedral ceiling here. So by putting this arch ceiling and actually lowering the step about an inch and a half, two inches, it gives you room in the shower. I'll just demonstrate it. If you're 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you've got room here to get in. Nice waterfall. You've got the wand. And like I say, at 50 by 34 with the seat, it's as large as you're going to find in any motor home. And such a nice echo when you're singing. I won't break into my Frank Sinatra. <laughs> okay. Um, I go through these and always forget something until I'm done. But uh, we're going to uh, go back up front here. One of the things I'd like to do is close this up and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like when you travel. So my bedroom slide is actually right here. Again, 60 degrees, maybe 65 here in Colorado, and it's not even noon. Come on out and see us. Before I close this entirely and forget, let me give you my contact information. Again, my name's Mark Love, and you can email me, you can call me on my desk phone, or feel free to call or text on my cell phone. That number is 970-631-0083. Again, 970-631-0083. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call or text. Let me go ahead and close up the rest of this, and then I kind of want to have Jody step out and demonstrate what we did with that air leveling as I put it back into the ride positions. Let me make sure my chair is up all the way. If you look at this slide out with this more floor, this is a, a heavy duty HWH system. Those rollers don't even touch the towel below it, so you don't see the streaks that you get with a lot of other slide outs. And
And for as big and heavy as that is, it moves pretty quickly. There we go. And on this one, this might give us a shot of our lockouts. Once it's all the way in, up in that top corner, you'll see what Numar does to, to keep that slide tight when you're going down the road. You're constantly jiggling. It's like a mild earthquake. You don't want your slide leaking out, so right there is those automatic lockouts. Now that we have it buttoned up nice and tight, I'm going to go ahead and get this fired up again. Let my dash come on here. There you can hear the steps coming out. Here we go. Now I'll leave it open uh, for now. I'll get up, but I'm going to scroll back up. I was showing you earlier to our air leveling. I am going to let me see, I want to go to travel mode. And, oops. and there we go. So again, this is a London Air 4551, stock number 5N201184. My name is Mark Love. Please come down and see us. And uh, once again, like always, happy trails, my friends.